Economics editor Michael McKee says there's still places out there with opportunity. He's found the fastest growing cities in America. Now I have that Go West song in my head, which is going to drive me nuts all day. All right, so tell Horace me where the Greeley real growth was is. right. <laughs> Buy a lottery ticket. No, he didn't say that. He did say Go West, young man. In your case, it would be young woman. And uh, that is where we find the fastest growth ahead. Almost all of the fastest growing cities for the next uh, five years, the rest of this decade, are on the other side of the Mississippi River, including four of the top five, led by Midland, Texas. Of course, this is the West Texas town where George H.W. Bush made his fortune and George W. Bush was reared. It'll grow 8.4% next year. That's kind of unbelievable. An average of 5.8% between 2013 and 2020. Also on the list, Naples, Florida in the east and then out west, St. George and Provo, Utah, and oddly enough, Greeley, Colorado. All these numbers come from a new study by IHS uh, Insight for the U.S. Conference of Mayors. They just put it out in connection with their latest uh, meeting. Uh, among the big cities, it is Texas again leading the way. Austin and environments, no surprise there, uh, topping a top 10 that includes three cities in the Lone Star State. Seven of the top 10 are in the West. And you look at that map, notice none of them are in the North or the oh Northeast. Driving the growth, construction, natural resources, mining, fracking playing a big role in all this. I like Midland, says. Texas. Although, assume, yeah, right? yeah, indeed. Uh, the report does warn that low paying administrative and support services jobs are expected to be the fastest growing. So you may go west, you may not make a fortune, but the report does sort of quantify what the folks in Texas have been arguing, and that is you get a low regulation, low tax state, and it's conducive to growth. Also helps you have, you have oil in the ground. Well, also with Austin, that's really tech. I mean, tech is really moving to Austin as well. It's not just about oil. And that's a lot of the California cities have sort of the same thing going on there. Uh, all One of the slowest growing cities, by the way. Well, interestingly Where enough. Where should I never move to? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to say never move to, but you probably don't want to be east of the Mississippi, and you probably don't want to be in upstate New York. Five of the ten worst Yikes. are in upstate New York. Buffalo, Elmira, Kingston, Utica, Rome, and Binghamton. It is something of an irony, though, because the report shows the biggest, most important city in the country, right here in New York City. The New York metropolitan area has a gross metropolitan product that's almost double the size of the next largest city, uh, Los Angeles. In fact, if really? New York were a country, IHS says, it would be the 13th largest economy in the world. Uh, of course, we're dealing with hmm. percentage changes and the law of large numbers. It's harder for things to grow obviously the bigger they get but you take the 2.4 percent increase expected for new york's economy the rest of this decade that's 29 billion dollars midland may have a faster growth rate 5.8 percent but that's only a billion dollars so yeah and say that to the three bedroom apartments in park slope going for seven thousand dollars a month and you can understand why new york city uh, might be growing go right. west young woman yeah exactly go bloomberg west uh mike mckee thanks so much really appreciate our economics editor